Hi, it's Tom here and welcome to another Gradle best practice tip. And this time I'd like to recommend that you use the latest Gradle version. And this is to make sure that you benefit from the latest features and also performance improvements. And right here I've got a simple Gradle project and we can check the current version of a project by running dot slash Gradle W space dash dash version. And this project is currently on version 6.8.3 and at the time of filming this video the latest version is 7.0 so let's try updating to that version and the command we use to do that is dot slash gradle w space wrapper space dash dash gradle dash version and then the new version number which is 7.0 and that's all we need to do and if you're interested in what's happening in the background, this is using the Gradle wrapper and it's actually updating a properties file that the Gradle wrapper uses to figure out what version of Gradle to use. So what we can do right now is run a task within our build to make sure everything's okay. So let's run dot slash Gradle W space help, which is a task which comes with every project. And we can see here that it's actually downloading Gradle version seven from the internet. And this happens the first time you use a new Gradle version on your machine. And then it, the version gets cached within your user home directory in the .gradle directory. So this only happens once. And just to double check here, we can also run a dot slash Gradle W space dash dash version again. And we're on version seven. So everything seems fine. And just a note on version numbers, we've updated a major version here from six to seven. This indicates that there might be breaking changes for our build. So I recommend checking out the release notes in this case. And you might be interested to hear about the new features of Gradle 7, which includes Java 16 support. It uses Groovy 3 for your build scripts. It has a cool new performance improvement called file system watching, which reduces your configuration time. And there's a load of other stuff as well. And if you're interested, I've got a video right here specifically about Gradle 7. And in terms of keeping up to date with the Gradle versions, you could check the Gradle GitHub page and check the releases. And I'll also link to an Atom feed that I found, which you could subscribe to, which has all the latest releases in there. So just as a recap, you can check your Gradle version with dot slash Gradle W space dash dash version. Right here we're on version 7 and you can change your Gradle version, you can go up or down even. So let's go back to version 683 and we do that with dot slash Gradle W space wrapper space dash dash Gradle dash version and then the version number 683. So here's an idea, why don't you check what version of Gradle you're on in your project and see what's the latest version and then maybe update your Gradle version or suggest your team to do that so that you can benefit from the features and performance improvements. And if you're interested to hear more Gradle best practice tips like this, then I'm doing one tip every day for 30 days. So why not subscribe so you can catch up with all these videos? Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in another Gradle best practice tip.